Hey everyone, if you've just stumbled into this, into this video, you're about to watch one of the most important videos I'll ever make, whether I stay at zero subscribers or I somehow reach like 15 billion. Yep, I've been doing this for about a year, kind of on and off because of work and whenever one of my old mates says like, hey, you want to go out on Hindley Street? I'll usually say yes. And I've finally reached the 1,000 view mark. 1,000 views with my single subscriber. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Couldn't have done it without you all. Just for the record, I've not promoted my channel anywhere, maybe except on YouTube comments. I've been commenting a bit more lately because I thought, you know, commenting would bring in some subscribers because one of my old, old ass commenting channels has like 14 subscribers with not a single video on it. But none of the comments I've made on this Darlington Stinger channel have really popped off. Even when I'm early, people on this channel are like, nah, not gonna like that comment. I know I'm not like a single copy pasta comment to an early video away from like bringing in the millions, but it helps a bit because I've got YouTube videos of me dating like way back to 2007. And you know, what well, comments do bring in some amount of people. And you never know, one of those people might be, uh, I was just about to say Mark Cuban, but that's a terrible idea. Sure, he's a billionaire and he owns like a, a, a whole NBA franchise. It's, it's, it's NFL, it's either one of the two. Blockchain technology is still ancient. The ship is jumped. Just forget about crypto for now, guys. Unless you want to buy like slaves off the dark net, crypto in 2023 is just useless. Uh, back to my actual channel, with like no promotion and just letting the YouTube algorithm do its thing, I've had some hits and misses. I started off doing Let's Plays because I just wanted to figure out, you know, microphone settings. I also didn't really have a lot of time to go back and edit videos. I didn't even know that DaVinci Resolve existed until like a month or two after I started uploading on this channel. For those first few Let's Plays, I literally downloaded Windows Movie Maker off of softtonic.com, which is a terrible fucking idea. But thankfully I came out unscathed, just with a few battle scars of shitty YouTube Let's Plays to show. Now, not only do I not have a huge amount of money, I'm doing pretty well for myself, but I don't have like a huge amount, but I also can't really afford a huge great big computer especially because there's a massive chip shortage at the moment. Yes, all those memes you've heard about Australian internet are true. Australian internet is just fucking garbo. We got shafted huge with, with, with the MBN, which was a promise for everyone, or, or mostly everyone, to get fiber optics internet. Well, the MBN, MBN thing hasn't been canned outright, but it's mostly just, you know, fiber optics up, up until a node, then it's just, you know, the old ass copper wire all the way. And our internet servers are just outdated shit. I mean, I wanted to do YouTube earlier than this, but I couldn't because the internet was just so crap. And it kind of is now because it takes like around six hours to upload a single damn video. My internet speed right now is about 25 down, three up with Ethernet. But when I was a kid, the internet was just way too slow to use, so I just played video games to pass the time. I'm talking like, you know, the, the internet taking five minutes to download a single Wikipedia page. But yeah, the internet's fine. We don't need to upgrade it. I know that every kid become, dreams of becoming like a YouTuber or a TikTok star, but like, this, this is kind of the perfect job for me. I can just sit down, make videos, make documentaries based on what's trending, and yeah, I'm set. Even if I have to sit down, use up all 40 hours of, of the work week making one damn video. Now, that's perfect for me. I'm opinionated. I like watching stuff. I like listening to stuff. I like e-girls. It's perfect for me. But if there's one downside of YouTube, it is about appeasing the algorithm. I don't give a fuck about drama. I don't give a fuck about what Bryce Hall is doing. He's just getting into drama again for the sake of drama. I don't care. Oh, was Ohio slowly being poisoned from the inside out from its contaminated wastewater? Oh no, you have to make a video about fucking James Charles. I mean, I could make standard old commentary videos about, you know, the latest topic, but because of my work schedule and also my crappy internet, I can't upload stuff fast enough. So I sort of have to make videos about 
the stuff that'll do well in the algorithm that hasn't happened recently. But there's really only two things I want to touch upon right now. And the first one I'll mention is editing. The first thing I'll mention is my mic quality. I know you're supposed to have this huge like 1K setup to cut out every single background noise, every single little click that I do, you know, that sort of thing. But, you know, pe people can sound amazing with a $50 mic and just some post-processing -pro editing software to, to you know, um, condense it or what's, what's the word? It is compress it a bit and maybe make the voice sound a bit more like radio other than just straight up USB cheapo microphone garbage. Right now, I think my mic sounds a bit too condensed. I, it's not quite bright enough. It's also not quite loud enough. I know that I'm a decent microphones have their settings lowered a bit so you can bump it up in, pro, in, in post pro process editing. But whenever, but whenever I, I bump up the volume, it makes the, it makes the, it makes the volume sound a bit tinny. So I really have to work out, you know, the right level of editing and that, that sort of thing. Also, I'm supposed to have a 1K setup to cut out my dog barking in the background. I think the proper way to do this is to have a dedicated streaming room where you can surround yourself with soundproof materials. But me, I'm literally in my own room in a share house. Sticking things up in the wall would pretty much rain, uh, would pretty much just uh, ruin the already poor paint quality. And I would get blasted and find possibly sued by the landlord if, if I did that. And also if I bring a fine lass over to my room to, you know, play Scrabble at midnight, you know, that sort of thing. Well, <laughs> she's coming into a room that's pretty much littered with like black, black, uh, what's, what's it called? Black something, that sort of material. And yeah, I don't want her to feel like she's getting murdered if we're just trying to roll the dice and or, or play Twister or something. I'm trying to make my mic audio just a little bit crispier and a bit less tinny, but you know, hey, that, I'll, I'll figure something out eventually. Another thing I want to touch upon are the text boxes. You know, the little yellow, yellow squares with black text on them. Now, the reason why I chose yellow for text boxes is that a yellow background makes things easy to read for people who have dyslexia. I don't have it, but some people do, and apparently there's all kinds of research into, into yellow not jumbling around the letters as much. It's probably also one of the two reasons why subtitles are in yellow. One reason is, of course, to combat dyslexia, but I think the other reason is that yellow pops out more in pretty much every other, every other video, because really, what sort of video have you seen where it's majority yellow? Like, maybe a 4K Go GoPro dive into a piss-filled toilet, but other than that, I, I can't think of anything. I also make the shade of yellow a, b a bit darker than the standard one to make it just a little bit easier on the eyes. And the second thing about the text boxes is the varying picture quality between them. Doesn't DaVinci Resolve have its own te text box adder? The answer is yes, DaVinci does have its own text box little widget thing, but it sucks. There is no formatting I can do whatsoever. But can't I just like hit enter after every line? No, I can't do that because the text is always centered, not line to the left, not line to the right. It's always centered no matter what I do. And centered text kind of looks a bit funny. So I have to do my text boxes in a less sophisticated, but still aligning to the left sort of program instead. A little program called Microsoft Paint. Now the problem is when I try and resize the image from Microsoft Paint to DaVinci Resolve, it often gets a bit blurry and pixelated. So I sort of have to guess what I'm a, what, what, what text sort of style I want, not, not style size I want. And then I have to guess the correct resolution. And I think right now I'm just going to go for a, a full 1980 by one by 1020 thing and just pl plant this tiny little text box up in the top, top left corner and then crop it out. That's what I'm doing lately and it seems to be working. But of course the problem is with the DaVinci Resolve editor, you don't know how big the video is going to be and how and how big the text box is, is actually going to be until after you've rendered the video and, and have exported it. And that takes a while. And as far as editing goes, the last thing I want to touch upon is that weird little border I had in like the last two videos. 
of that sort of rainbowish TV technical difficulties thing. There's no reason for me to add that in other than just I want the videos to, to look a little cooler. I didn't realize until after I watched the videos for the first time in a dark room with the lights off is that it's quite distracting. I'm going to put the border in this video, but I'm just going to turn down the opacity to about 25% and, and, and we'll see how it looks. Now there's only one more thing I want to touch upon and that's pretty much what I actually want to do with this channel. Right now, I'm mostly just making reaction videos, reacting to current topics. I mean, hey, I'm opinionated. I don't mind talking about anything, but I also want to sprinkle in a few more meme videos, a few more experimental videos like the one I did about the fake CTE thing, where I played a character who pretty much dismissed any kind of science or was just completely ignoring it just for the sake of the NFL just... Oh, or any kind of contact sports to just continue running without any kind of drama. I mean, I had to put like two different um, uh, this is satire warnings into the video itself, but the video is mostly about the editing and the effects and trying to simulate some kind of CTE reaction, what I at least sort of think CTE would be like, while also showing the devastating effects of CTE because, you know, it, it ruined the careers of da Daniel Venables, uh, Mike Webster, that Justin Strzelik guy from the NFL, Polly Farmer, you know, those sorts of people. And also, if I somehow get YouTube partnership, that'd be fucking fantastic. I sort of want to make, you know, actual documentaries about things that I find interesting. They probably won't get as much, you know, YouTube revenue, but I like them. And and, and there still be like, you know, 10,000, 100,000 people who would like it as well, so uh, that, 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 that's a win in my book. I mean, okay, I could just make a kid's channel and just roll in bank off of, off of shitty shitty videos that I make in an hour, but, I, but you know, you have to explain how you got those millions in the first place, and I don't want to lie every time. I don't want to tell the truth, but I also don't want to lie, even if I have a side of business, you know, where, where the fuck does, does the majority of my money come from, you know? Personally, animating a video of some shitty CGI baby singing Duck Duck Goose or Old MacDonald had a farm. That's how I made my millions. Like, ugh. That's all I want and need to cover. Like, honestly, thank you so much for watching this video. Even if it's just sheer curiosity at what a channel with a thousand views and zero subscribers is doing like, like, just thank you for listening to all of this. I know there's a shit ton of content creators in the world and we need more people working in cybersecurity, we need more people working in farms, but like I've, I've tried all that, I'm garbage at it. Like right now, even though I have to work tomorrow, if you told me to, told me to move a box, I'd tell you to fuck off. I've always wanted to do content creation, like even before I discovered what YouTube was, whenever I was watching TV, just hearing about my own dumb voice spouting my own dumb opinions with, with, with my own dumb visuals spout, like bl bl blaring at you. If people think that's good, then hey, mission accomplished. And with all the garbage drama channels, clones of other YouTubers, and these fake get rich quick schemes that should have died off in the 90s, that are somehow still around because people never learn history if it only happened like 20 years ago, 20, 30, 10, whatever. If I'm going to waste my life doing this, I at least want to be good at doing it, you know. In the grand scheme of things, content creating is useless. There's no real world application other than bringing more revenue to advertisers or just, you know, having something to listen to while you're typing out emails at school or work. But here I can just create content and once I'm logged off the internet, like that's it, I'm on myself again. Easy. And I can do whatever I want. Like, you know, e e even let's say I get like a billion subscribers and like my face gets leaked. I'm still just going to do faceless shit. I don't care for putting my own face on, on the screen and while interacting people in comments and like, you know, ch chat sections is fun in real life. I just want to go to Hungry Jack's and eat my burger in peace. There I can actually truly be be myself and the only way i think that i can personally do it without tearing my own, my own hair out about you know like the ad i created for the i toilet paper app 
for my own digital marketing business that I started because Andrew Tay told me to isn't receiving his check from the person who commissioned me yet. I'd rather just stay on YouTube or maybe some kind of other platform and make funny videos. Again, thanks for your time. I really, really do appreciate it. You can go get yourself a drink of water now. Peace out.